I finally got this in the mail. This is the Shark Smooth Style. I am so excited to try this out. Heated round brushes like this one from Wavy Talk and Omika have been viral on TikTok like crazy like a lot of people have been loving these heated round brushes but what if you had a heated round brush and a blow dryer combined together in one hair tool that is what the shark smooth style is it is a two-in-one hair tool it is a dryer but also a smoothing hair tool so it is also a heat around brush very excited to try this let's open this up this retails for a hundred dollars let's open this up here it is the wet hair mold you can use on dry and wet hair obviously but the dry hair mode which is like the heat around brush mode you can only use on dry hair you don't want to add extreme heat to your wet hair that is going to be very bad for your hair so make sure that you dry your hair very well this is what the hair tool looks like as you can see it is a very big brush it has a couple of different bristles it has some like plastic ones right here it has some like four bristles right here and it has the heated round brush like on the sides so these two like these pink ones right here are the heated round brush and this only turns on when you switch it to this mode the one all the way down here i already used prepping spray i use the wella professionals ultimate repair miracle hair rescue spray absolutely love that spray it is so good i know it's a little bit pricey but it is very worth it i feel like it really does repair heat damage over time and it makes my blowouts look so nice definitely wanted to use a prepping spray that i really like today what i like about this hair tool already is that it has three different heat settings so it has low medium and high that is awesome and it also has the thermal brush mode so i'm going to divide my hair into a couple different sections i want to get right into drying my hair and we're going to time it and see how long it takes me to dry all my hair shark also came out with this new hair tool so if you guys want to review on this let me know in the comments down below this is the shark speed style so it's kind of like a regular blow dryer but it brings so many different cool attachments this is not sponsored i do work with shark very often but this video is not sponsored so i just wanted to be completely transparent with you guys and they always send me their new hair tools and stuff which is super exciting because then i can try it out and show you guys but yeah this is the other new hair tool so i'm gonna blow out my hair in the medium heat setting and then i'm going to use the thermal mode at the end once my hair is completely dry so yeah i'll put in the medium heat setting there you go and let's see how this feels on my hair Okay, so this is the first section. I really, really like it. It actually gave me a very nice curl. I also want to try the high heat setting actually now on this section. Now that it is completely dry, I'm going to go in with the high heat setting just to see if it can smooth out my hair even just a little tiny bit more, even though I'm going to use the thermal mode later. But I just want to try the high heat setting just to see how that looks. I actually like to do that sometimes with my Revlon Plus. I like to start with the medium heat setting and then once my hair is completely dry, I'll go in with the high heat setting just to kind of smooth everything out a little bit more, give my hair a little bit more of shine. I'm going to put it in the high heat setting and let's see how that makes this section look. Okay, so this is what it looks like after doing the high heat setting. I actually really like starting with the medium heat setting and finishing with the high heat setting. I think it actually gave my hair a lot of shine and it looks super smooth. So yeah, if you want to try that out, definitely try it. I totally recommend doing that. I feel like the high heat setting might be too high, kind of like the Revlon. I do prefer to start with the medium heat setting always, whenever I can. And then once my hair is dry, I'll go in with the high heat setting. But anyways, I'm going to do all my hair and then we're going to come back and do 
the final step I'm gonna start the timer because I want to see how long it's gonna take me to do all my hair just to dry it basically and then I'm gonna go in with the dry hair mode so the thermal brush mode and we're gonna see how that's gonna look so yeah hopefully that's gonna give it the nice last step but yeah I'm gonna dry all my hair and I'll be back and we can move on to the other mode okay guys so this is what my hair looks like after drying it so it took me 38 minutes to dry all my hair and I feel like it's not the smoothest it's been I feel like it definitely needs that thermal mode right now because it looks fine but it doesn't look super smooth in my opinion so I already turned on the thermal mode which is this one right here the light is green so it is ready to use so I'm going to divide my hair I definitely see a lot of smoke coming out so yeah definitely only use this on dry hair I'm actually going to add a little bit of heat protectant just because I want to be very careful I don't want to put too much heat on my hair okay so I'm just going to start smoothing out my hair just using it like a regular round brush you know just smoothing out the roots and also kind of twisting it giving myself a little curl this is definitely my favorite part of the hair tool because yeah, that looks way better. I actually really like how that looks. I will be honest though, I felt like the brush on wet hair did feel a little tiny bit rough. So be very careful. But yeah, I feel like this pink part definitely felt just a little tiny bit rough on my wet hair. Like it didn't feel super, super smooth. But this is definitely so nice. This is leaving my hair way smoother. I really like the thermal mode even though like this pink part right here doesn't feel the smoothest on wet hair. It is giving me very nice results. I mean, look at that shine. So I'm just going to keep smoothing out my hair. I'm going to do a little curl. I really like that. See, that looks really, really nice. I feel like this is what gives it the perfect last step to your blowout. My hair looked fine before, but this is definitely smoothing out my hair way better. Okay, so now I'm just doing the top sections. This is actually a lot quicker than drying my hair. This is taking me maybe about 10 to 15 minutes max. Yeah, my hair even looks shinier already. So this is the final look. I actually really like the final look. I feel like I got some nice curls on the ends. And yeah, my hair looks very smooth. I will say, since the brush is very big, I did feel like it was very hard for me to get in the roots. Like these bristles are very, very long. And just the brush itself is very big. It's kind of like the original Ravlon. It's just very big and it's kind of hard to get in the roots. So I don't know if you guys can see, but my roots are like a little tiny bit wavy still. So yeah, I definitely feel like this hair tool didn't give me the smoothest blowout, I'll be honest. I feel like I kind of like the flex style still a little bit more than this one. Um, I wanted to like this one more, but I do like the flex style a little bit more. Just because I'm able to use the concentrator, like the nozzle attachment, and I'm able to use a small round brush and really smooth out my baby hairs, my roots. And there's just so much more that you can do with the flex style. You can do amazing curls it has a diffuser attachment so it's a very very nice hair tool this one isn't bad but i feel like when i used this blow dryer to dry my hair from like wet hair this right here just felt a little tiny bit rough on my wet hair but i do really like the thermal mode like that is my favorite part about this hair tool i really like that it's able to turn into this like heated round brush so that's very nice but it would be super cool if shark just came out with a heated round brush hair tool just like something like this and even something like the amika blowout babe i think that would be very nice and i do really like these like smaller bristles they feel a lot more gentle but yeah you guys let me know in the comments down below your thoughts i feel like the blowout looks very very nice but I do think that the roots could be a little tiny bit smoother. And that's why I feel like this round brush might be a little bit too big. But yeah, overall, the blowout is not bad. I feel like it gave me a lot of bounce on the ends. Like, it looks very voluminous. But I do feel like the roots need a little bit of extra help. And I feel like I would need a flat iron or something else to smooth out these roots a little tiny bit more. Because I have very curly hair. So sometimes a smaller round brush works even better for me than a bigger round brush. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you like this hair tool? Would you get it? Did you like the final look? And yeah, let me know your thoughts. I love talking to you guys in the comment section down below. And yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.